Hello my beautiful and amazing friends. My name is Danny, and welcome back to my channel. Today is the first episode of my 10 part series on this will change your life. This is going to be a very open minded and open hearted series on literally how to change your life and how to change your perspective and having some very conscious discussions on how to make real change to your life. Today's episode is on changing your storyline. If you have not already, be sure to hit that subscription button and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. And check out my surroundings because today I decided to shoot in nature again. Why? Because I love it. So again, today's episode is on changing your storyline and it couldn't have come at a more interesting time. I don't know if you guys have ever had just a day where you feel like you're getting hit over the head with anything imaginable. Everything that was preventing me from filming this video got in the way. And then as soon as I got out here, it started sprinkling rain, but I have just forged ahead and decided I'm not gonna let things stop me from doing the things that I have set for my goals and my dreams. And I just want to kind of forward into this video by saying you can't let things that are taking you down in life to take you down a bad path. It's okay to have a bad moment. It's okay to have a bad hour. That doesn't make it a bad day and it doesn't make it a bad life. Today, I wanted to get really raw and real with you guys about some things that have happened in my life and how you can let circumstances to completely control your perspective on who you think you are and become sort of like a victim to your circumstances. So I just wanted you guys to know a little bit about me and my circumstances and the things that I have gone through that have put me in a position of where I am at now in life and how I might be a totally different person if I didn't have the traumas and experiences that I've had up until this point. Now for the sake of this video, I did want to get very real with you guys about things that I have experienced in my personal life that I wouldn't always put out there. But for the sake of this video, I really wanted to express a couple of things. There have been some really, really hard things that I've gone through in my life that should have put me into the victimhood mentality. By the time I was 17, I had been sexually assaulted. I lost my daughter traumatically two days before my due date when I was nine months pregnant. I I've had multiple life-saving surgeries. I have lost many people I loved. I lost the love of my life when he was 31 years old to a tragic incident and he passed away. I've gone through a lot of really, really hard life circumstances. And the purpose of this video, I know a lot of people find it very hard to get vulnerable, especially with YouTube culture these days. But the purpose of this video is I wanted to tell you guys that just because you've gone through something doesn't mean that those experiences have to define who you are. You can create a different storyline for your life no matter what your traumatic experiences have been. And it's starting to rain and we don't want to mess up my equipment. So we're going to hightail it back to my car. Hopefully we can just leave the car door open and then I can film with this backdrop without anything getting wet. I'm gonna go ahead and just sit in the car while I wait for this rain crap to dry up. But there was a couple really vulnerable things I wanted to share with you guys. And I think it's important to this video and I know a lot of people have trouble with getting vulnerable online, especially with YouTube, with all of the cancellation culture that's going on and people digging into other people's past. But I've never wanted that to prevent me from being exactly who I am. And you guys seeing the real version of me and getting to basically be my friend and be in my life and see who I truly am as a person. And I think absolutely you have a right to your privacy and you should only share what you're comfortable sharing. And sometimes I think that I share things that are very, very vulnerable, but it's coming from a place of me wanting you guys to know me and know that I haven't always had it easy in life. I've gone through a lot of hard things and that's what makes me such a valuable asset to sharing the information that I have and sharing the perspectives that I had because I've gone through a lot of hardships and that would be like a vast understatement. I've had really just like a decade of really challenging times. It's just been really like a lot of hardships 
but I think the problem with us as people is we start to become victims of our realities and so or victims of the reality that we create for ourselves and so the purpose of this video was to give hope to a lot of people and to talk about the light at the end of the tunnel but also just to discuss that you are the creator of your storyline and I think that that is so so super important because if you would look at me and a lot of times people talk to me and once they get into those aspects of my life and they hear more about myself and more about my circumstances and experiences they're like wow how are you the person you are today and how have you not become a drug addict or how have you not done this or how have you not done that to cope with the amount of trauma and grief that you've experienced in your life because i have had a ton of hardship but the truth of the matter is i had to wake up one day and recognize that these things can either become me or they can move through me. And as hard as that is to speak to with losing a child or losing someone you love very deeply or having traumatic experiences with life-saving surgery or whatever the case may be, what's a really grounding experience is once you tap into being your true self and what that really looks like. Um, specific to me, I started to realize that we are a spirit having a human experience. And once I kind of like tapped out of the fact that we are a spirit having a human experience, those human experiences started to flow through me instead of stick to me. And I'm not saying that I've never had a hard day and I'm not saying that grief doesn't come in waves or that maybe you have a moment where you feel triggered or you want to cry because of something that got brought up because of your past because you know what there no one is perfect nobody has a perfect past perfect history we've all gone through stuff and it's important to remember that it's our mistakes that make us grow and make us stronger as people but you are absolutely responsible for the storyline. Gotta organize my life here a little bit. Let's see if it will quit raining. So anyways, guys, as far as your storyline goes and as it pertains to law of attraction, the biggest thing is this. It can be so easy to become a victim of our circumstances, right? Like we all go through a lot of really, really hard times. Whether it be that you've experienced grief or assault or whether you had a bad upbringing or whether you grew up in a family where there wasn't a whole lot of love or there was abuse in your childhood or whatever the case may be. We all have these crosses that we have to bear. We all have this history to us that creates who we are. But the problem is a lot of us get stuck in this mentality of identifying as that. We're stepping into the frequency of being a victim of our circumstances. We see a lot of this in women who have experienced abuse and I am by no means uh, degrading or putting down someone's experience. And I think people who have gone through those experiences totally benefit from putting their mental health first and actually going to therapy and doing the steps. But when I talk to you about perspective, this is what I can tell you from my perspective. Life is so short. Life is like a fleeting, beautiful moment. And we're here and we're having this very human experience, but we are a spiritual being. If you allow yourself to just keep perpetually remembering the bad things that have happened in your life, you're going to be on the vibration of that frequency of that bad thing happening to you. And we see this happen a lot. People who cannot move on. And I have this discussion with people I love and about myself. It's not always about moving on. It's about moving forward. And I like to really like get, give you guys a difference between the two. There's a huge difference between moving on and moving forward. Moving on means you totally forgot that this thing has happened and it's no longer part of who you are and you just completely erase those memories and want to black it out and move on. Moving forward is understanding that something traumatic may have happened to you, but that thing doesn't define you. 
Like just because you've gone through a divorce or just because you've lost a child or just because of this, we start to create this victimhood mentality and call ourselves survivors. And in a sense, I want you guys to understand that we're all survivors. We're all here surviving life and so if we are going through this period of life and we're surviving certain things, why not thrive instead? And I've had tons of people that have sat, said to me like, hey, Danielle, I don't know how you cope so well. And I'll tell you this, I started coping well when I started to recognize that I did not have to be a victim of my trauma, that I could use my trauma to better society. Literal trucks going by can't control it there's so much traffic here today which is crazy but i'm just saying the second that i stepped into the realization that i was not my trauma i was not a victim or a survivor i'm a spiritual being holding a frequency and i can choose for that frequency to be depressive and low vibration to where i attract more uh, traumatic experiences into my life because i'm constantly on a vibration of trauma or i can step up to the plate and i can recognize that i am who I create myself to be. This is a life by design and the way that you design your life is how you perceive your life, what vibration you hold, what frequency that you're coming across as. If you're always in this lower vibration and this lower frequency, which starts with your mind, it starts with a thought process and you're constantly thinking of your grief and you're constantly thinking of poor me and you're constantly thinking of why me. First of all, me is an attachment to your ego and that's your ego suffering. So once you get past the victimhood mentality of why me, why is this happening to me and focusing your energy and your thought processes on the things that are traumatic and the things that are bad, you open your heart and you open your mind and your perception to the other beautiful things that are out there that you're blocking from staying in that mental state of negativity and depression. So if we have 40 to 60,000 thoughts a day and 5% of our brain to program for positivity and the manifestation of things that we want, but we're taking that time to have these conversations and these thought processes about our trauma on a regular basis, not to say that you should suppress it and not speak about it. But if that is your focus, where your attention goes, energy flows, and that manifests itself into your current reality. If you are on the frequency of a low vibration of depression and anxiety and your trauma and not letting go, that's what you're gonna keep attracting into your life is these repetitive situations where things don't change. That's what you're gonna keep attracting into your life and things are not gonna change because you're gonna be perpetuating the same thought processes. So understand you could be a victim of some type of circumstance or a survivor of something, but that doesn't have to become you. That could be something that happened to you, but it doesn't have to be you. And once you stop identifying with that being who you are, like a lot of people try to identify me without my permission and say, Danielle is the person who lost her daughter. Danielle is the person who had a stillborn baby. That's not who I am. That's a part of my experience. That's been part of my human experience, a very traumatic part of it, but that's not who I am. That's been part of my experience and albeit a very traumatic part of my experience in my life, but that's not who I am. That's not who I've chosen to be. I didn't choose to be Danielle, the person who lost her child. I chose to just be Danielle because the second that you decide to let go of being this person that people to expect you to be because of your trauma and you actually step into spirit and guidance and purpose you recognize that it is okay to let go of those false identities that other people and yourself have created for yourself because of your trauma and you can actually live a beautiful life there's so much on the other side of the negative storyline that you're telling yourself there's beautiful relationships there's beautiful career opportunities, there's new 
rekindled relationships with friendships that bring out different sides of you that maybe you didn't see before, but not if you keep identifying as this past version of yourself. I give up. I'm just filming the rest of this in my car because cars keep going by and guess what? They're really loud. Um, the bottom line is this. It's your story. You choose how to tell that story. Losing my daughter was a very traumatic experience in my life, but it was just a chapter of my life. I still have people who bring it up to me and are bringing up and regurgitating things from years ago that happened or that didn't happen. And the bottom line is this. I've moved forward because I love myself and I recognize that there were chapters of my life that were really hard. But they were chapters of my story, not my entire story. If you keep holding on to this little chapter of your life that was traumatic or eventful or negative, that chapter is going to keep going on through the whole book. If you have the opportunity to change your storyline, why wouldn't you? If you have the opportunity to change your perspective to manifest and attract anything you want, you have to understand that you have to be on the frequency of that. Part of being on the frequency with what you want is letting go of what you don't want. We don't talk about this enough, but us as people, we have an addiction to talking about the negative stuff. Why don't we get addicted to talking about our joys? I've seen that quote, get addicted to sharing your joys. Imagine how much your life would change if you stop focusing on the past and the traumas and the negativity and the things that you ultimately can't change. And you started to focus on all the abundance and all the beauty and all the things to be grateful that grateful for that are happening in the now, in the present moment. There's so much good all around you all the time. And so when people reflect on, well, Danielle, why are you this person when all these things happen to you? I'll tell you why I'm this person. It's because I choose to be this person. I'm not saying that I'm perfect and that I wake up and that every day is great. It's not. Some days I burst into tears for no freaking reason. Maybe it's because something triggered me or maybe it's because something of my past is brought up that makes me feel uncomfortable because I'm a human or I'm not a human, I'm a spiritual being having a human experience. And in that moment, I have a very human reaction to one of my human experiences. But you know what? It's okay. My mom used to tell me this all the time and I think it's very valuable. It's not about what you go through. It's whether you choose to camp out there. You can choose to have your feelings, have your grief, have your tears, have your emotions. Just don't camp out there. Don't set up a tent and camp out in those emotions. Getting down here was not easy, y'all, but it was totally worth it. And I want to express to you guys, the most important question you can ask yourself is who am I? When you start asking yourself that question, you'll start to really recognize who you identify as. When I look at myself and I ask this question, who am I? I am creative and I am loving and I am beautiful and I am smart and I am intelligent and I am capable and once you start to look at your core values who you truly are you recognize that those senses of grief and those experiences do not define who you truly are they're just an experience and they're just a part of your path so I want to encourage you to ask yourself the question who am I and see who's responding to that and who you truly are and stop identifying as this person because of a chapter in your life. It's okay to move forward. That doesn't mean that you've moved on, but it's absolutely acceptable to give yourself the gift of healing and to move forward onto another chapter, no longer identifying with the guilt or the victimhood or any of that and choosing to live a positive life. And if you guys haven't yet, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you get a notification anytime I post a new video. And smash the like button if you enjoyed this. That sends my information out to the YouTube universe so other people can find me and I can find them. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful rest of your week.